short sale and pre-foreclosure properties can be one of the best ways to get a cheap property. But understanding these dangerous and very fruitful opportunities can be difficult. In this video, I share the three risks you need to know of when buying a short sale home. So first things first, let me just tell you what a short sale home even is. Basically, it's a property that is being offered for sale for less than the homeowner owes to their lender. In other words, you want to look at it as like it's the kind of a last effort that the homeowner is willing to make attempting to stop and try to avoid foreclosure. But this video is about the risk of buying a short sale house. So let's talk about that. First thing you want to remember is this is really not a smooth sailing. One of the major risks that you want to think about is that the house might be in pretty rough shape. Most of the time, it's not going to be this cozy den, a beautiful kitchen, updated bathrooms, you know, the kind you will find in a non-short sale home. Instead, you might come across crumbling foundation, holes in the walls, unmaintained exterior and exterior, and it's just to name a few. For obvious reasons, homeowners that are in financial hardship don't really have the money needed to upkeep with the property. So let's get to the juicy part. Buying a short sale home requires a lot of imagination. In New York State, the real estate market is very diverse and even competitive. In New York, short sales may seem like a unique opportunity, but also a challenge for someone who tried buying a house in a competitive housing market losing bids to the other buyers, it may lead buyers looking to become homeowners to start considering purchasing a short sale as another option. But they don't really know what they're getting themselves into. And that's why I'm doing this video for you. Let's take a look at the potential risks you might want to seriously consider. One being the neighborhood. It's very important to look beyond the walls of the house and consider the location. But the location is always something that you would consider whether you're buying a short sale, a foreclosure, or a traditional house in a traditional sale. So the neighborhood that you are looking in, sometimes short sales can be an indication of a bigger economic issue in the area. This doesn't mean that it's bad, but what's important is understanding the local market trends and evaluating the long-term potential of your investment. But that's the easy part. Because if you ask me, with the help of a local realtor, this can be resolved in a jiffy. One of the most challenging aspects when trying to buy a short sale property is dealing with the uncertainty of the situation, actually. What do I mean by that? Well, the approval process is where the biggest challenge lays. Not only that it's slow, it's also very unpredictable. The outcome can be just outright rejected. There's no guarantee that the offer could be countered. And most of the time, there are multiple bids on one short sale house, just like on the regular market right now. The competition is fierce even when it comes to buying a short sale. So if you want to get involved in buying a short sale, you better have emotional resilience and flexibility combined. But buying real estate should always be with this in mind. In terms of thinking long term, most likely these homes might require significant investment in the repairs and renovations. And so you need to stay committed, resourceful, and have lots of patience. You'll be faced with some complexities, but the good news is from a buyer's perspective, you still treat this as you would have buying any property that is not in a short sale. And so you could still and should do and conduct a property home inspection. And I highly recommend having a seasoned real estate professional by your side because that's experienced in short sale properties. Understanding the importance of flexibility, patience, and the ability to mitigate these risks. And so remember these three words, being informed, being cautious, and being prepared for the unexpected. I must tell you that before making an offer on the short sale home, doing a thorough research is paramount. You want to know everything that you possibly can about the history of the property. Checking in, assessing the trends in the neighborhood, building the right team, assembling a team of experts who are experienced in short sales can make all the difference. Trust me, I've been there. 
This team not only guides you through the process, they can also help you understand the nuances of each step from the financial and the legal as well. I can't stress enough the value having the right people in your corner and you have to expect the unexpected. Really, always be prepared for surprises. Short sales are very unpredictable by nature and even with the best planning, things may go the other way. It's important to maintain a degree of flexibility and a contingency plan so you should really have and set realistic expectations. Don't get emotionally involved and don't get attached to the house in a short sale because the bad news is that it would never be approved. For those of you who are persistent, patient, and prepared to tackle the challenges buying a short sale home, this can be incredibly rewarding. It's an opportunity to get a property at a much lower price than the fair market value, but you will need to transform this property into a cherished home, possibly an investment or even a flip if the market allows for it. Some people love to renovate, put their own touches and vision into a distressed property. I get calls from buyers all the time asking me specifically to find them a property that they want to renovate. Maybe you're that person. I don't know. One thing to remember, if you were looking to buy a house that you need to move into, you might want to reconsider and not approach a house that is a short sale at all. There's no guarantee that if it gets approved, your price is going to be approved. And there's no guarantees whatsoever of how long it will take to get it approved. So flexibility is the one thing that you cannot eliminate at all. So go ahead with your eyes wide open, your spirits high, enter the world of short sale homes with all the challenges, it does present great opportunities. It is a path that demands caution and it also spar sparkles with potential. And let's not forget that the world of short sale homes is for the one that is informed and brave. I extend a personal invitation to you to subscribe to my channel. Why? Because here I'm not just about unraveling the mysteries of short sales and foreclosures. My channel is dedicated to empowering homeowners facing foreclosure, guiding them through their toughest, unfortunate times, and assisting buyers' intricate process of purchasing foreclosure and short sales. Subscribing to my channel means joining a space where compassion and expertise meet. Each video I share is crafted with the intent to provide real, actionable insights for those who are on both sides of this challenging situation. I share content to help homeowners avoid foreclosure, explore the ins and outs of the foreclosure, and the short sale process as well. So by being a part of this community, you're not just staying informed, you are aligning yourself with a supportive network that values ethical, knowledgeable, and empathetic approach to real estate. Join me and be a part of the community that's committed to make a difference in the world of real estate. One homeowner at a time and one buyer at a time. Together, we can transform challenges into opportunities. Thank you. I will see you on the next video.